Early morning wake up. Let's get some breakfast. Necessity of every morning at the military. Everybody just meet here. And then you get the orders, what do you have to do today? I'm getting ready for the first battle training. I will bring the STG 77, SG 69 and also my Glock. So instructions are uh, not super clear so far. Okay, real quick about the whole equipment you need for the SG24. You have the binoculars, basically for spotting. That's the cover for the scope. That's the scope I'm talking about. It has a four times magnification. It's a very old gun, but still a very reliable sniper rifle. One of the better ones out there. Yeah, I mean, it's basically a, a very standard bolt action sniper rifle, but a very precise one. We have here the magazines. One magazine can hold five rounds each. Officially, the effective range of the SG69 is around 800 meters where you can with the four times magnification scope that's still a distance where you should hit a torso sized target 10 from 10 times basically so right now we are learning the basic gun manipulation of the SG. now the safety right here we have three stages all the way back it's safe in the middle position we can still bring up the bolt we can rack it but we can't pull the trigger all the way forward then the gun is hot and we can let the round go so his sniper team always consists of at least two people. The spotter obviously looks for the target. First he tells me the direction of the target, then he tells me the distance and then some specifications like on top of the hill, maybe the face color, maybe the camouflage color. And then he gives me the instructions on how I have to adjust my scope. We have the height wheel and we have the side and wind wheel. 700 meters, I say 700 meters. Put the height wheel to seven. She also tells me how I have to adjust the side and the wind wheel. I tell him that I'm ready to fire so he has to move his binoculars back on target so he can tell me if I hit or if I missed and also if the enemy got killed, injured or whatever. After the recall of the gun I might not be able to spot the trajectory of the bullet and if I penetrated the, the enemy. If he's doing his job right he can tell me how the whole shot went. So that's why we trained this now for pretty much two hours. As already mentioned, a sniper team is usually three people or at least two people. Now the spotter can use the binoculars, but they're not very accurate, they're kind of old-fashioned. So the new stuff we're using here is the Spotter 60. It has a magnification, a variable one from 20 to 60, so you can really zoom into the target. And also it has a, a millet radical inside. You can kind of calculate how far the enemy is actually away. So here in this chart we can see the pressure curve, here we have the barrel length, here we have the pressure and we can see once the back of the bullet gets pinned and the whole explosion go is going on, here the pressure gets higher, then here at a barrel length of around 15 centimeters we have the peak of the pressure and then it's going down because of course with the barrel length the volume and the gas can expand. Then what we also have to keep in mind is that the whole barrel is completely vibrating. <laughs> the entire barrel is free floating as you can see here. It's not touching the stock whatsoever. So when you're shooting you have to keep in mind that nothing touches the barrel. Lesson's continuing. So gotta get back to my student place.
Alright, let's go hot. Five rounds in each magazine, so that's 22 rounds. Let's hit some targets. <laughs> Done with shooting the SG 69. Hands are getting cold, but the barrel is warm. Ah, oh, feels good. You maybe don't realize this through watching this vlog, but all the steps that I showed in this video, we did this over and over and over for hours. Because you have to get this into your muscle memory that, that you don't have to think of it anymore. That the gun gets part of your body and it's not just some object that, you, that you're treating. It should be part of you. Just to clarify that, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not, that's not a like active commercial for the Austrian military. I just felt like doing it and I'm showing it the way that I experience it. There is no, there's nothing fake. There is no like, come on everybody, you join the military because it's fun. I show you this, I will also show you the bad side that it's not always just fun. It can be stressful, it can really suck, you can heal your life once you're out there on the field for several days. It's tough, it's actually really tough. So of all those people out there who think that's just a paid commercial, it's not. I'm here because I want to do it and I just want to use the opportunity to show it to my audience. Even though I learned all of those things already three years ago, I realized how much I actually forgot some of the very, very basics. I mean, we started with um, handling the gun, how to handle the gun, like all the safety rules, you know, never point a muscle at somebody. Always keep the gun safe, always be aware of the status of your gun, did you know if there's a cartridge chambered or not and even though I do all those things in airsoft not all those things but a lot of those things in airsoft you know the muscle thing and just you know carrying a gun I'm used to carrying a gun used to aiming and all of this kind of stuff but in airsoft you of course it's not a thing that can kill somebody so you treat it a little bit different 